What's up, what's up? It's your boy AD and that's all day. I'm out here raining right now. Now you see the little umbrella. Finna make a quick little video in the rain, man, while I'm on this mission. Um, finna call it five quick ways that you know that can help you know if your girl is cheating. Five things that's good to know. <laughs> and here I go. I see my out here walking. But um Number one, a number one way to know if your girl is cheating is does she is, does she keep her word with what she do? Like if you dealing with a girl who constantly switch up what she says and what she does, like one minute she say she gonna be here but she be there, or another minute she be like, oh I'll be there at like three or five, and the next thing you know she either there at like nine and she don't even show up then yeah, that's the sound right there that you might be dealing with a girl that's cheating on you or messing around. Because, um, you know, a girl who can keep her word is a girl that, you know, ain't got a lie. You know what I'm saying? Ones that's always, you know, because that should really be number two, too. Number two should basically be a girl that um that's flaky or wishy-washy. You know, that's kind of like goals like right, right along course side with that, you know. Hold on, man. I got to slow my walking down real quick because this mud, as soon as I come out here. Hold on, I'm just going to walk over here. Hold on, y'all. I know I'm out here walking. I know. But, yeah, man. So, basically, that's number two, you know. Hold on one second. You know what? Hold on. All right, I'm back, y'all. I just had to cross the street. and Because there was some people that just popped out, and they was walking all fucking slow. like, And they kept looking back at me like they was trying to listen to me. Some dude and some girl. But anyways, I'm back, though. But, um, yeah, man. Like I said, that kind of coincides with the other one, like I said. You know, if you're dealing with a girl who's real wishy-washy and flaky, that definitely is a sign she could be cheating. You know, like one, oh, like, oh, here go another good one. Like one day she act like she all alone you, she like you like that. But then the next day she act like you ain't nothing and you basically ain't worth two cents. That's a girl that could be cheating on you. Real talk. Uh, let me try to think of some other signs. Because it's definitely signs, you know, like, oh, another one. Like, if your girl be around you all day a lot and she don't really be looking good and trying to look the best, but then one day she leave out and then all of a sudden she dressed up looking nice, that's another way your girl could be cheating on you. Because if your girl ain't trying to look good in front of you, at least on a normal basis, at least, that could definitely be a girl that's cheating. That could definitely be a girl that's like, look, I ain't got to put effort into him to look good. I'd rather look good when I go out and hit the streets trying to impress somebody else, you know? Man, that's a whole nice fucking car right there on big rims. But, um, so yeah, um, another one is, my bad, it's like I'm trying to look around. I know there's so much going on, but another one, another one is basically if she got a lot of friends. If she likes to hang out with her friends a lot, that's another one right there. That's like number four. If she hangs out with her friends a lot. If you got a girl that just loves to be around her friends and hang around her friends all the time and put more effort and time into her friends than you, that's a girl that could cheat on you. Like if you know a girl that barely put any time and effort into you, barely try to work hard to do things for you, but she study talking about her friends and study acting like her friends is all this and that. Study buying shit and doing shit for them. That's a girl that's probably cheating on you. For real. Because why are you so concerned about your friends and what they do? And you know a lot of girls' friends be messing around, you know? And be talking about how many dudes they done mess with. And I'm going to leave it at this. is number five, man. Because I'm almost where I need to be. Mugs trying to mess up my video early and crap. But number five is if she got any male friends. I know it's more than just these five, but that's a good five to me. If she has any male friends, that's a good sign of her cheating. Like, real talk. Real talk. Any girl. I mean, because 
Why in the world would she be talking to you and messing with you, but she got male friends? That don't make no sense. What can she get out of a male friend that you shouldn't be able to give her? You, as her guy, should be able to provide her with whatever she needs. And if she wants something else, she can go to her female friends. But like I said, watch the ones that be all jocking their friends hard. Watch the girls that got a lot of girlfriends. Now, if your girlfriend only got like one or two close friends, that may not be that bad. But when you got a girl who got a lot of girlfriends and always like to run out with them and stuff and everywhere, that's a girl you might not be able to trust like that. Honestly, I don't think so. You got to, you got to, you, you need, you know, if you were trying to get one of these girls, you got to get one that's stable. You know, that shows that she's stable and shows that she's like down, you know, and they going to show you. Yeah, they ain't going to tell you, but you don't need to be told. All you got to do is just pay attention to their actions and what they do. And you going to know if your girl is real or not. Like basically looking at some of the things I just told you, because like I said, that, that male friend thing is a big one to end it on because, man, yo, it's a lot of girls out here who will try to have male friends while they trying to so-called talk to you. There's some girls out here that's so bold that they don't even tell you about it. But just hope that you don't care. And, you know, to me, that's a test. Because if a girl got a male friend, that means she got somebody on the sideline that she can call when she lonely or when she F something up. Because a lot of these girls got it too easy. So they'll keep dudes around like it ain't nothing. So they can always have a dude because women hate to be alone. They always like to have something in their corner. So they because when they alone, that's when they really start feeling bad about themselves. Because they whole life, they've been getting free, easy attention for nothing. So think about that. See, as us as men, we used to not getting attention from women and, and, and free shit and all that. So we could live our lives normally. But them, they're not. You know, they're not. They, ever since they was little kids, they've been getting super attention. You know? So that's why it's so hard for them to just give up on all the dudes and all the guy friends. But you got to get a girl that do. And look, I even throw a number six in, man. Number six, a girl that stays on social media a lot. If you with a girl and she got like hella Instagram, Facebook and all that crap and she like to be on it and she doesn't understand that, that it's just a waste of time and some bull, then that's a girl who might cheat on you in a high flash because she basically opening up the door for other dudes that she know or been messed with to come back, talk to her, to go check. I really wouldn't want to mess with a girl too much if she got an Instagram, Facebook or something like that. To be honest, I wouldn't because that, like I said, that's an easy way for them to cheat on you. Easy way. You know, um, especially Instagram, man. Instagram is like the worst one because you know that's where girls go to just post pictures and look thotty and get phony attention. You know, unless they using that for some real power. Oh, my umbrella going haywire. Oh, shit. It's always some crazy shit happening in my videos. But yeah, unless she doing that for some real stuff like a business or some educational purposes. Nah, that could be a definite another sign right there. Definitely. But look, I'm at my destination, so I'm going to holler at y'all later, okay? Like this video, comment, a little twist. I know it's rain, rain getting all on my phone, but I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace out.